What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today we've got something a little bit different than usual. It's not every day you get a brand new drum kit and certainly not a limited edition kit like the one I'm about to show you. Today, I am absolutely geeked to share with you my brand new Tama Star Classic Mirage acrylic drum kit. And this isn't gonna be like a super in-depth review or anything like that. Uh, my intent here is to do a fun unboxing, give you a quick rundown of the features, my first impressions, and do a, a demo for you so you can get an idea of what these drums sound like straight out of the box. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're returning, I really appreciate having you back here to share this with me. So enough talk, let's get into the unboxing. Christmas came early to the homestead. It's not every day you get yourself a brand spanking new drum kit. And this is the Tama 50th anniversary special edition, uh, Star Classic Mirage acrylic kit. I'm very excited. This is going to be, the idea anyway, is that this is going to be my new live kit. Acrylic makes great uh, live drums because of the fact that it doesn't expand or contract in the heat, the cold, humidity, all that good stuff. So I'm very excited for this one. I'm gonna do an unboxing and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it together and we're gonna demo it. truth. Let's see what we got. More cardboard, hell yeah. And more foam. And more cardboard. Glad to see they packaged them up securely at least. Okay, looks like we got some stock G2 Evans heads. Those are actually pretty good. You see that? Okay. Little, little booklet. Probably a hardware. Okay, we got our first drum. All right, this looks like the 12 inch. Rack time. So much packaging. And I am guessing this is the 14. Ah, uh, this might be the 16. Assuming it's hardware anyway. Yep, cool. Looks like we got a couple of Racton plants. All seems very sturdy. Feels good. And it wouldn't be a sweet water order without some candy. Alrighty. All right, and this appears to be our snare drum. Be extra careful with this one here. And there it is. Ah, drum key. 
I would assume. Yeah, it's pretty drum key. Look at that. Thank you, Tom. I'm thinking we've got the 10, the 14, and the kick. In this box. Yep, we've got our floor tom legs. Okay, let's see what they gave us for the kick. It's like a Evans EQ4. Solid head, a little bit of dampening on the outsides. Should sound pretty good out of the box with these heads. And yep, alright, so we got more Evans G2s for the batter. Alright, yep, so this is gonna be our 14 inch floor tom, 10 inch rack tom, and our kick drum on the outside. Very good. Start with the 10 here. These are surprisingly heavy. Yeah, I've never really done much with uh, acrylic kits like this, but I uh, didn't expect them to be that heavy. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought they'd be like super light, I think. But... Nice. There's our 14. And last but not least, we've got kick drum. Likely another drum key. Got our lugs for the kick drum. And then, yep, yeah. okay, sounds good. And then I'm thinking these, based on the, the clamps, the rack toms are gonna mount to cymbal stands. It's pretty standard, so sounds good. Get all this stuff cleaned up. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. And real quick, before we hop into the demo, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the features of this kit. So first and foremost, it is an acrylic kit. And the there are a few reasons why I chose to opt for this material as opposed to like a traditional uh, wood kit. And most of that has to do with the fact that I was in the market for a live drum set. And what acrylic brings to the table uh, for me, well, the biggest consideration was that it's that material is going to be resistant to large fluctuations in both temperature and humidity. If you're a gigging drummer, you know a lot of time, you know, prime time in the summer, it can get sticky outside. 
lots of humidity and moisture in the air, and it can also get pretty dang hot. That might be a stark contrast to, you know, wherever you're storing your drums or if you're playing indoor gigs, you know, an air conditioned environment where it's much cooler, maybe much drier, and that can cause your drums to expand and contract depending on the temperature and the humidity as well which can create problems in terms of just longevity of the drums, wear and tear over time, as well as that expansion and contraction can really pull certain drums out of tune. But with acrylic shells, you do not have that problem. Second, these drums are just gorgeous, which is kind of odd when I think about it. They're really just clear cylinders with some, with some hardware on them, but I'd be lying if I said this thing doesn't look sexy under the lights. When it's all set up this is a gorgeous kit and especially with the black nickel hardware oh my god it, it looks fantastic and it takes the stage lights so well and also from a sound perspective acrylic drums tend to have a more focused sound with really good attack um, which we will see later in the demo but that also was a consideration when choosing this live kit i play a lot of heavy rock i play some pop here and there uh, but mostly I'm looking for that volume and that punch to cut through the mix on stage and acrylic is great for that. And a quick rundown of the shell sizes. So we've got a 22 inch by 16 kick. So uh, standard diameter in terms of the head size, but it's a little shorter than maybe some of the other kicks out there. And we have two rack toms, one 10 inch by seven inch and one 12 inch by eight inch. Both of those are pretty standard sizes. And same thing goes for the floor toms. We've got a 14 inch by 12 and then a 16 inch by 14. And also sold separately, so it does not come standard with the kit, is a 14 inch by six and a half snare drum. And then we've got the hardware as well, which is probably one of my favorite parts about this kit. I'm an absolute sucker for that black nickel. It looks so sleek. Uh, everything from the rims to the lugs to the supporting legs for the floor toms and the kick, it all looks fantastic. And this kit does feature die cast hoops, which also helps with more of that focused, punchy drum sound. And I also wanted to take a quick second to talk about uh, how the rack toms are mounted. So the rack toms feature Tama's proprietary mounting system called the, the Starcast mounting system. And essentially the hoop of the drum attaches to a little mounting bracket. Um, and then it's mounted on, here, hopefully you can see this, um, these fast clamp tom holders. So what this will do is this will go right on to uh, your cymbal stand here and then your drum attaches over the peg there. And these are, I was actually very impressed with these. I've never used them before from, but Tama has a good reputation for their hardware. Uh, this, uh, this is no different. This clamp is very sturdy. Um, no, no real movement as I was playing them and I was hitting them pretty hard. Uh, they did not move a centimeter. So I really like these clamps and I think they'll hold up over time. And I wanted to give a quick mention of the drum heads as well. So the kit is actually shipped with all Evans batter heads, which was really nice. On the snare, we've got a coated G1 single ply. On all four toms, we've got the G2 double ply and that's clear. And then on the kick drum, we have a clear EQ4. It's got a kind of a, like a built-in muffling ring with that. So pretty pretty good quality heads that it shipped with on top. And then it's it's kind of got stock Tama resonant heads on the bottom. I'm probably gonna end up changing all of those out. Uh, personally, I'm more of a Remo guy. Uh, that's total personal preference though. Um, I will say right out of the box though, I did get these heads and the drums sounded really good with what it shipped with. So really no complaints there.
Okay, I really hope you enjoyed that demo. I'm extremely impressed with this kit. First off, it's just gorgeous. It's gonna make a fantastic centerpiece on stage. And most importantly, the drums sound fantastic right out of the box. I love the tones I'm getting from these drums. Now, I will say I had a little bit of a tougher time than usual, especially with the toms of getting the drums dialed in from a tuning standpoint the first time around. But I am willing to admit that could be a little bit of user error. I'm decent at tuning drums, but I'll be the first to admit that I am by no means a drum tuning wizard. It definitely took me a little bit longer than it normally would have with my wooden kits, but that could very easily just be due to the fact of my my familiarity with those shells and their sound as opposed to the new acrylic shells and also due to the fact that these are evans heads i typically am a remo player with um, controlled sound on the snare and pinstripes on the toms which have a little bit of built-in muffling in them so kind of a little bit of a different tuning approach than i normally would have gone for but on the flip side, to the drums credit, I really didn't use a whole lot of muffling at all for this demo, just a few moon gels here and there, and the drums still sounded incredible right out of the box, so that's always a good sign. If I could nutshell the sound of this kit, I would definitely use the word focused. There's a very full but tight low end, especially on the kick and the floor toms, but all of the drums have a nice sort of mid body and a good presence in the upper mids, which really gives it a nice attack and I'm thinking is really gonna help it cut through the live mix on stage. I think these drums do exactly what I was looking for. I'm a pretty high volume player. I do a lot of rock and pop in live settings and I was definitely looking for that cut, that punch to get through all the other instruments and I think these drums are gonna be absolutely perfect for that. And with these being acrylic drums, there's a much more pure shell sound, uh, not as much character in the sustain as maybe, you know, a wood drum or even a, like a metal snare drum, especially at lower volumes. So for that reason, I probably wouldn't recommend this kit to a jazz drummer or someone looking for more of a like rich sustained tone at lower volume. But outside of that niche, I would pretty much recommend these drums to anybody. I think they have a very versatile sound. And the only real critique that I have on this kit is gonna be the lack of memory locks on the floor tom legs. Those memory locks are extremely valuable in my use case as using this as a primarily live kit. Uh, they, they just make it super easy to quickly set up your floor toms in the exact same height and configuration every single time without having to spend too much effort on it. And that thought and convenience is just something I would have expected from this kit at this price point. But overall, again, I am very, very impressed with this kit. I think Tama knocked it out of the park. Uh, the sound, the look, and the construction are all on point. I'm excited to get familiar with these drums and add a little flair to my stage setup. And with that, that's pretty much all I've got for you today. So thank you again for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and to catch some more of my drum content on my channel. Thank you as always, and until next time, take care.